welcome to quantitative reasoning solution section and today we have quantitative reasoning from lantern step book 5 page 83 thank you for joining in today and we have this we have 6 9 4 16 4 64 25 125 and 5 Thank you for joining in today and to our new viewers please do well to subscribe to this channel for more quantitative reasoning solutions and mathematics problems so let's solve this to find six we're going to have square root of nine times square root of four so square root of nine is three times square root of 4 is 2 and we have 6 okay so to find 16 we're going to have a square root of 4 times square root of 64 and square root of 4 is 2 times square root of 64 is 8 and 2 times 8 is 16 right so the next we're going to find to find 9 okay so using this pattern we're going to have our square root let's assume our unknown there is y square root of y times uh, square root of 4 which is equal to 6 right so square root of y times square root of 4 is, is 2 so we're going to have equals 6 divided by 2 I hope we got that let me expand it here square root y times square root of 4 is 2 which is equal to 6 so we have this so when we cross this over here making square root of y the subject formula we would have this so our square root of y equals 6 divided by 2 is 3 okay so remember we're looking for y so y equals 3 squared and 3 squared equals 9 okay so that's how we got our 9 so we can do the same for 4 to find 4 so let's use this uh, similar equation so we have a square root 9 times square root of the unknown equals 6 okay so we're going to have here we're going to have uh making this subject formula we can have equals 6 divided by square root of 9 it's the same okay so 6 divided by square root of 9 is 3 6 divided by 3 is 2 so square root 9 equals 2 but remember we're looking for y square root y equals 2 so since we're looking for y we're going to have uh y equals 2 squared hence y is equal to 4 so that's why how we got uh 4 okay so uh when you try the same this method for this you will get the same answer now there are also situations i think in one of the uh exercise we have uh something like this where we do not have a number uh with a perfect square okay so for this we're going to have to find this 25 find 25 you simply divide 125 divided by 5 equals 25 so so to find 125 we're going to have 25 times 5 equals 125 and to find 
5, we're going to have 125 divided by 25, which is 5. All right? Do well to like and subscribe to this channel for more quantitative reasoning solutions and problems. Bye.